Glenner House of Indianapolis is the oldest community and social service agency in the state of Indiana. The mission of the organization has not changed over the 120 years. Our focus is to move people from a position of instability to a position of self-reliance and self-determination. We are a United Way agency that has a division of the Center for Working Families. So we offer a rotating class where folks can come in for assistance and support, also resume development, interviewing skills, uh, so that they're actually put in the best position to be able to have those opportunities. FEED is a program that we created as we looked at trying to have a significant impact in the Northwest community, uh, which is home to the largest food desert in the entire state of Indiana. And so we really wanted to be able to make sure that a dollar that we were using to create a food system was a dollar that we could also use to be able to improve the quality of lives of young people in the neighborhood. And so FEED is an acronym that stands for Farming, Education, Employment, and Distribution. We try to focus on youth, 16 years of age, all the way up to 25. And we want to look at youth who might be in trouble with the law, might have been on probation, might be out of school. The employment aspect is that all of the skills that you learn here, there are jobs for that. I was basically going from job to job. And the FEED program helped me get the skills to enter the workforce to give me a step up from where I was before. So our farm area here, this is where the majority of the work's gonna be done. We're getting prepared for our upcoming harvest. We have 1.9 acre of farmland that's right there that's gonna be ready to be cultivated. So once the seeds are planted, all of our workers are gonna be helping to get produce. And once our bodega is started, we can have that produce being sold in the bodega. And that's how that farm, produce, business, job creation, all that comes together in one community setting. We simultaneously are now able to offer a healthy, affordable, sustainable food option to people in the neighborhood, while at the same time doing crime prevention while at the same time doing education, while at the same time doing workforce development. This industry can grow and grow and grow, and there's no limit to it because everyone has to eat. And so I was just pushed to say that, you know, that stigma of working outside with your hands has to go away and we have to take back control over what's going on and what we put into our bodies.